Hi, so in this video, we are going to clear the doubt about the eclipse sign or we can say uh, we know it as oblique flashlight test and its association with the anterior chamber depth, right? So many of us have confusion uh, about this topic and, and the real concept which is behind this is actually very simple, but we all overlook that now. So uh, let's uh, before going to the descriptive part, uh, let us see what is it, right? So this is the direction of the torch, right? So light is going from here and this is the temporal side, right? And this is neither. So this temporal limbus from the temporal limbus, we are focusing light and you can see in the number one picture, which is normal uh, depth, which is uniform depth, right? So we can see the uh, illumination of the light here also and here also, right? As the arrow points, right? So this is depicting the normal anterior chamber depth. No shallow anterior chamber is present here, right? In the second picture, we can see the uh, torch again here temporal limbus focusing but as we can see this is getting illuminated but this side is isn't right so you can see that there is eclipse of this light uh, for example we see in uh, uh, solar eclipse or moon, uh, lunar eclipse the concept is same here so this piece of iris or this part of the iris is obstructing the light here which cannot travel here so now let us do the dissection of this concept Right. So, uh, gonioscopy or slip lamp examination is a better modality to assess the uh, anterior chamber depth. But here we are discussing the concept of the shallowness of the anterior chamber and the eclipse sign. Right. So, first of all, I would like you to deal with this. Right. Solar eclipse. So, what happens? Like this is our Earth, this is Moon, and for example, this is Sun. So, the light is traveling from here. But what happens? The Moon is coming here. Right. The Moon will cast shadow here. So this is solar eclipse, solar sun is eclipsed from the earth. Simply, if the light is traveling from here, for example, in this normal part, there is no obstruction here. This is the trabecular meshwork actually, right? So this is just for the orientation. This is iris, cornea, lens, right? So the light will travel from here to here. But let us see this configuration part, right? So we can see here the light is unable to reach here can't go here why this is very simple this is the configuration of iris that is iris form or in the pacg primary angle closure glaucoma which we will discuss more clearly in the uh, upcoming diagram discussion which will clear this right so we can see here there is no uh, chance that light can travel here so the peripheral depth it is all about the peripheral depth What I mean to say, if the light is uh, obstructed here only, there is no chance that it will reach to this point. So the peripheral depth or the peripheral, uh, the peripheral depth of anterior chamber is shallow here, not this central depth. So it depends what depth is shallow. It may be peripheral also, it may be central also. There are many pathologies like iritis, iridocyclitis which affects the eye in certain way. For example, in posterior iridocyclitis, posterior iridocyclitis, the condition may be present this way also. So what we are seeing here, the peripheral depth is increased, but the central depth is decreased. So it's all about the depth. But here also, if you throw light, there would be no light here. So again, what we are seeing, eclipse sign, which denotes, yes, the shallow anterior chamber, be it the peripheral depth or this. So only this part of the iris or the part of the eye would be illuminated, right? So let us see more pathologies. Again here in hypermyops, like hypermetropia, what happens? They are more spherical lens. So what, what it will do, the, if the lens becomes from this size, for example, just for understanding purpose, from uh, to this size, right? One to two position, it will definitely obstruct the uh, like it did push the iris forward right it will push the iris forward so from the temporal limbus you will uh, shine the torch yes again this eclipse sign only this would be positively illuminated because this will obstruct the light it's as simple as that right and negative illumination so in hypermetropia you are getting this what the shallow anterior chamber so or other let us talk about other corneal etiology also 
right? In corneal etiology also get corneal ursal, adhesively coma, they can get attached, fibrous bands, again, this light cannot obstruct. So in all, uh, in this uh, uh, discussion, what we see here, the pathology is important, right? It's not the anterior chamber depth per se in total. For example, it's, for example, this is the anterior chamber. It's not that everything is shallow here, like from this also, this also. It may be due to some more spherical lens, so some part of the iris may be obstructing or different pathologies may affect central depth or peripheral depth. I hope I may, uh, made myself clear here. Thank you for viewing this video. Goodbye.